Wait, is this for real? Is MIMS 277 uploading Call of Duty? Not only that, is this Black Ops 2? Yes, sir. What's up, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy, Mims, And I'm coming at you guys with some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay that I just stumbled upon and found on the internet. I would give credit to somebody, but I have no idea who to give credit to, so you know who you are. And let me bring you a little bit. You know, we're just going to talk about this. Here's Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Let's get to, uh, let's get to it. First of all, to celebrate the fact that Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is coming out, I'm going to be launching a page called Call of Duty Memes. You can make memes about all the BS that happens to you in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and all the other Call of Duties from Call of Duty 1 to the latest one. But if you notice this map, I think this is the map where we are first shown in the gameplay with the broken down airplanes and all of that stuff it's shown in the multiplayer trailer I believe and personally I think it looks nice it kinda reminds me of Afghan from Modern Warfare 2 I like it a lot and here we get to see some gun action and there's five of these actually so I picked this one because it shows a lot of different elements like it's gonna show you some kill streaks I believe there's five of them and I'll link you to all of them and if this video gets enough likes, I'll bring back Call of Duty to this channel. I love playing Call of Duty. You'll find me on Twitter, always inviting subscribers to play with me. But, you know, these don't really get a lot of views on my channel. So if this gets enough likes and I get enough of a following, I'm definitely going to bring Call of Duty back to this channel. And I definitely will start playing Modern Warfare 3 even after this um, analyzation video. But back to this video, you can see the guy's kind of impressed by how everything looks. We get a look at the Strella, I guess. It sounds exactly like a Strella. And one thing that's confirmed from this gameplay is the UAV is going to be called a UAV. It's not going to be called a spy plane like it was in the last Black Ops. And this pretty much plays like Black Ops 1. If you notice, the hit detection is very similar. If you guys didn't like that hit detection, I'm sorry. Like, the gunplay, even all the way down to... Well, the red dot sight looks kind of like Modern Warfare 3's red dot sight. But just the graphics, everything, the feel, just by looking at this gameplay, it looks ridiculously similar to Black Ops 1. That's the first thing I did notice. You can see the hit detection over there. And to your right, you can see we get a little bit of a Modern Warfare 3 kill streak interface. And if you saw right there, he tried knifing his opponent. So I, I believe T-Mart said in one of his videos, shout outs to that guy, he's amazing, he, ana he analyzes everything. But he said in one of those videos that looks like, well, at least from the trailer, that you're going to have to take out your knife before you want to knife somebody. And this should reduce or remove completely panic knifing unfortunately that isn't so because you're able to just knife anybody you want and hopefully we'll see more of that from this gameplay if not one of the other videos has a guy just going crazy knifing people panic knifing rage knifing like and all of that stuff so unfortunately panic uh, just the regular standard knife returns to black ops 2 but in Call of Duty's defense, how do you expect them to do it? Would you like a battlefield type of knifing system where you take out your knife before? Because honestly, I don't have that much of a problem. As you can see, the Strella in action again with the whole knifing situation. But who am I to talk? You know, I'm not that hardcore into Call of Duty. I don't criticize every aspect of it. And of course, there's various different things that people dislike about it from noob tubing to you know um i don't know there should be another trend the famas from black ops <laughs> but pretty much so far for this game so good i'm liking everything it has to offer and hopefully it turns out to be a good game there's always going to be haters about this game there's always going to be people that don't like this game no matter what but i think it looks good so far and over there you can see this guy just loves taking out different kill streaks and if you look to your right it doesn't affect your kill streak your actual kill streak or points well it's not a point streak this year it's a kill streak taking out equipment and kill streaks will not help you build towards your kill streak 
and of course it looks like kill streaks aren't going to stack this year either and i have no problem with that because when kill streaks do not stack it makes it much more fun for everybody in the game more people are using uavs and blackbirds which does which also is going to make its return to this year's game which i'm very very excited about because it's the number one thing I cared about the most in this game, the Blackbird. And you can see our buddy over here going on a nice little streak at this point, you know, going ham, killing a bunch of people, and he gets himself a UAV. So it kind of further confirms how it's going to be called a UAV. He tries switching to his next weapon, and it's a Strela missile. I think that was pretty funny. But so far you can see this game is pretty much it's starting to look more and more like black ops even the way you throw grenades is like black ops even the sound the strella missile makes is like black ops which again for me isn't necessarily bad considering how i really didn't like the gameplay of modern warfare 3 this year i felt like it was very unfulfilling Say I would get a kill streak, get like some, uh, get like a pave low. It will get shot down within 30 minutes. And no, excuse me, within like 10, 15 seconds. So hopefully they change that in this game because I feel like they're working too hard on trying to cater to the new people of this game, which is how you do build a better product by expanding and catering to new audiences. But the fact that they keep doing that makes it much, much more enjoy less enjoyable for the people that already are playing this game. For example, the support uh, kill streak idea, which was a pretty good idea, is kind of overpowered. You cannot imagine. You don't even know how many times I would go on a nice kill streak. You know, really close to an Osprey Gunner or a Pavlo or a Jug Suit. And then out of nowhere, a support style bomber comes and kills me. You know, and not only that, I was annoyed how I couldn't run counter UAV this year on a regular assault kill streak. I had to switch to support if I wanted to run the counter UAV. Another thing that's new to the Treyarch branch of Call of Duty this year is the fact that they're bringing the EMP to COD Black Ops 2. So how I feel about that is 50-50. <coughs> like... I like the idea that they're introducing a new kill streak to the game, and it should be much more difficult to get than Modern Warfare 3. So before you guys go crazy, think about it. In Modern Warfare 2, it took 15 kills to get the EMP, give or take a couple of kills because kill streaks don't stack on each other. And you also have to think which guy would pick the EMP over a Blackbird or some kill streak that could actually help your teammate you have to have a guy uh, a guy that's really dedicated to taking out the air support from the other team and how did that guy not even see this guy but pretty much I also like it because how else are you gonna take out a blackbird because the blackbird is pretty much the same thing except it's gonna be renamed to like the VTHS something something I don't 100% know and that brings me on to another kill streak, the sentry gun. The sentry gun this year is kind of like two sentry guns. And what I mean by that is they pretty much took the sentry gun from every Call of Duty and combined it with the remote sentry from Modern Warfare 3. Meaning that you could either just plant it down and have it kill random people, or you could plant it down and take control of it. So I don't know why somebody would want to take control of it, um, because I think, I believe that you have to stand right behind the sentry gun if you want to take control of it. But that option is there for those that want to do it. And you could also see, I wasn't really counting, but the UAV in this year's game seems to take up 3 to 4 kills. I wasn't really counting, and this guy isn't using Hardline. I think he's using Cold Blooded as his first perk. And we have no idea what the perks mean at this point, because... Cold-blooded in Modern Warfare 2 was pretty much Ghost from Black Ops 1. And in my experience, when they rename perks or rename anything, hopefully this doesn't apply to the Blackbird, but when they rename anything, that means there's some kind of change to it. Remember, in Modern Warfare 3, they took out Marathon and they added Extreme Conditioning, which is an incredibly unpopular perk. And when they added Extreme Conditioning, as you get to see some Dragon Fire gameplay over here, it looks kind of like a mini chopper gunner, but unfortunately it gets shot down already. It looks like it takes one bullet to take that out. But like I was saying, 
But like I was saying, when they added extreme conditioning, it was pretty much a watered down version of Marathon. So we have to wait and see because it looks like they're going somewhere different with the perks this year. As this gameplay looks to be coming more to a close, let me know what you guys think about this video and Black Ops 2 in general. I think it's really awesome that we get to see some multiplayer action so early and just after we got the multiplayer trailer. I'm personally very excited for this game. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and thumbs it up. I'm trying to build a base for Black Ops 2. Check out Call of Duty memes and subscribe to my channel if you're new to it because I'm coming out with some new stuff and some new Call of Duty stuff. Madden 13 demo should be up next. It's your boy Mim signing out and I'll see you guys soon with some more videos. Peace.